Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS X571G model and the exact model for this one you can find on the back sticker on the laptop here and it's pretty little bit longer than that is an X51GD-BQ2340 and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can clean up and open up and clean up repaste your laptop. It's really easy, simple to do. If you can follow the instructions step by step and you can get it done with no issue. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using on this video. Tool number one is a good screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. And we're going to be using Phillips number one from this tool set. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and a few tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick and metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Very importantly, you need a good alcohol quality, 95%, 99% plus isopropylene or isopropylene alcohol. You need a workshop towel. A good, I recommend you to grab the workshop towel. I'll leave the link for this uh, material in my video description in case you need to purchase yours. A good thermal paste is a must. I use the Arctic MX4. You can use an overkill over the board with a thermal grizzly but I prefer this one. It's a lot cheaper and it's still really great thermal paste. All right, added a curved tweezers. It comes handy sometimes, so let's keep this one on hand. Now, first we're gonna power off the laptop and on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see two rubber legs at the back, two rubber legs on the front. We are gonna remove the back rubber legs. We're gonna put it opening to underneath and we're just gonna lift it up, has a little adhesive and stick it to the side. Same thing on the other side. Lift it up and put it to one side. Once you have removed this one, and we're gonna start removing all the screws. There are two screws on the front. There's no screws right under the cup, under the bottom rubbers. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we remove all the screws, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. You wanna grab the opening tool, you're gonna start from the back end. You wanna stick it between the bottom cover and palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And you wanna just twist it. You just wanna go around twisting it around. You wanna hear some click sounds. That's what you wanna hear. Do the corners, lift it up. Do the other side, stick it between the palm rest. And you want to do the sides too. You can do the front end, but usually they usually come out really quick once you do the back and side. Lift it up, wiggle it around, and there we have it. It's really dirty. So you can grab a workshop towel and also a toothbrush. I use toothbrush. It's a good tool to have to clean up. So you want to take it outside and clean all this dirt from here. So I'm gonna clean this one outside with a dry air compressed air. We're gonna clean it up. I'll leave that to one side. And down here, we're gonna see the whole battery motherboard and the heat sink. Everything is right over here. I'm gonna rotate this. First, when we do servicing, we wanna disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, there's a one, two, three screws that we need to remove. Once you remove these three screws, you want to grab it, bring it up, and put it to one side. All right, once we remove the battery, we're going to proceed by removing the screws on the fan. Remove this cap on the tape over. Remove the two screws on this fan and two screws on the left and right fans. They each has a two screws. Once you remove the screws, we're gonna use the curved tweezers, which I have no idea where I put it. I had some over here. Uh, so I don't like pulling on, on the fan cables in here. So these are really delicate. So I put the tweezers beside the fan jack and I just pull them back and that's how I release them.
Same thing in here. Just pull them back like that. All right, so there's a fan number one. Uh, it is kind of dirty. And the second fan, this uh, client has a cat or dog. There's a, like a cat fur here. We do need to clean those. Now we're gonna remove the heat sink. There's a three screws for the GPU and three screws for the CPU. We're gonna go ahead and remove these screws. These are the tiny screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, once we remove this one, we're gonna grab it closer to the heatsink, to the CPU, and we're gonna lift it from here, and we're gonna bring it up. And there we have it. We don't need to remove the thermal paste, absolutely. This is, I'll go over the size. This one is a three millimeter, two millimeter thermal paste. This is a one millimeters, two millimeters, one millimeter thermal paste, right over here. Again, this is, again, let me go from here. Two millimeters, one millimeter, one, 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 and two millimeters. And there's a lot of foil tape right over here. This is bad. All right, now we're gonna take this one outside, use a toothbrush and clean up the fins right in here and blow some air through here and clean it up. And also you can just clean up this whole place. And once I come back, we're gonna just do the repasting. Now that we clean up the fans outside and they're pretty nice and clean. We clean up the heat sink with a toothbrush and compressed air. Now we're gonna proceed with cleaning up the thermal paste. You're gonna grab an alcohol, we're gonna place, put an alcohol on the towel, workshop towel. And we're gonna wipe over the GPU And do a nice cleaning in there. Do the same thing on the CPU. Use a dry part to clean it. And we are gonna use the same towel so in order that we don't waste anymore. We're gonna clean the excess of the thermal paste from the heat sink. Just wipe it off. And we can grab a new sheet. Just nice and polish. There we go. Now we're gonna grab our thermal paste. We're gonna put one drop right in the main die of the GPU and one tiny line on the CPU. There we go. And that's as far as we need to do this one. We're gonna grab the heat sink. We're gonna bring it, align it straight over and bring it down. Once you put it down, do not lift it up again. If you lift it up, you have to repaste and redo the whole thing. Put one screw at the back here first. And put one screw on here output. Because we want to balance the spread of the thermal paste, so you want to cross screw them. That's the best method. And the rest honestly doesn't matter which way you go. There's a lot of tiny numbers you can follow, but as long as you cross screw them, you're more than fine. There we go. Now we're gonna grab the fans. We're gonna run the fan cable under this LCD jack. And we're gonna place it right there and we're gonna slide the jack right in its place. Squeeze it right in there. And let's go ahead and put once for all the second fan and slide down the fan connector, push it in. Put the two screws for each fan. Once we have the screws for the fan, now we're gonna grip, grab the battery that will be cleaned up. And we are gonna place the bottom of the battery in here in the pinhole, the tiny pinholes at the bottom. And this one has to go right underneath. And you slide it down and put the three screws for the battery, one on the side and two in the middle. And that should be all. And the last thing down here is to grab the bottom case that you must have cleaned. You're gonna bring it on top straight and you're gonna set it down and we're gonna push the corners down, the sides down and the back. You wanna hit the tiny clicks. That's what you wanna hear, okay? If you see any opening, just open it and pinch them together and that should be all. And to finish it off, just put the bottom screws on the bottom cover and put the rubber legs over. 
Again, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish it off by putting up the screws.